Native people, Native culture, Native knowledge. Hi, I'm Jeannie Green, bringing you award-winning Heartbeat Alaska. Bringing you national and international Native news, this is award-winning Heartbeat Alaska, the premier Native voice in Native programming. There's a heartbeat loud as thunder Revolution is in the air There's a heartbeat deep inside our mother Are you too cool to kill? With Heartbeat Alaska, here's Jeannie Green. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Heartbeat Alaska Native News and Native Information. I'm Jeannie Green. Thank you so very much for joining me. On today's program, we travel to interior village of Copper Center, Alaska. Copper Center is one of the few communities in the state of Alaska that can be accessed by the highway system. Most villages in Alaska can only be accessed by airplane or by boat. The residents of Copper Center have invited Heartbeat Alaska to introduce to you a new treatment center. It's called Hudson Lake. It's a substance abuse treatment center, and I would venture to say it is probably one of the most unique treatment centers in the world. Let's play a little baseball, go to a gathering, and a treatment center on today's program. I'll be right back Everybody right after this. <laughs> Support for this program provided by Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alaska. We've been here since before Alaska was a state, and we'll be here when you need us. We're here. We're with you. Blue Cross Blue Shield of Alaska. Six months ago, Claire made a promise to her family and to herself. The promise was she'd quit smoking by the time her next birthday came around. And already she's feeling better. She has more stamina, more energy, and her lungs are stronger than ever before. BP, working for Alaska. Executive Suite Hotel is the official hotel of Heartbeat Alaska. When you come to town, make sure you stay there and ask for your free Heartbeat Alaska baseball hat. One per registration, please. There's a heartbeat loud as thunder Revolution is in the the Copper River Native Association recently launched a new treatment center. It's called the Hudson Lake Treatment Center. It's located in probably one of the most unique settings in the world. Nestled between the Chugach and the St. Alliance Mountains, with the Wrangles to the east, in the valleys and tributaries of the Copper River is Atna Country. The Atna people were the last Indian tribe discovered in North America, living in this region for several thousand years. Copper Center is located on the Richardson Highway between miles 100 and 105. It's located on the west bank of the Copper River. Hudson Lake, the Indian name for that actually is uh, uh, meant uh, the lake behind the rock. There is a rock kind of structure around there, at the mountains, you know, the hills close by. The Copper River Native Association launched a local substance abuse treatment center tailored to meet the needs of rural Alaskan, calling on elders like Lucille Brenswick to give advice on just what might work for the local natives. About two years ago, the uh, Copper River Native Association asked me if I would go to Minto, 
on a trip. There were uh, there was several other people that went, but I was one of them. And uh, we were up there to at Old Minto to get an idea how they were managing their uh, treatment center, and it was in the old village of Minto. So we were there just overnight and visited the clinic and talked with the the counselors there and even some of the patients. And then we brought that information back here. Then about a week later, we flew up to Hudson Lake and uh, actually walked around the lake and looked at different sites and eventually picked where this center would be located. The new treatment center is on land donated by the Cluticon Native Village Council. It's simply known as the camp. Part of it, all of the construction funding is coming from Copper River Native Association. And they've got a construction crew that's going to be out here and has been for about a little over a year now, constructing cabins, putting in a helipad, and pretty much clearing the area so they can build. We believe that uh, one of the significant things that has to happen reference residential treatment is the expectations of lifestyle. I say that because when you look at the Copper River Basin, as we say with all of Alaska, it's a unique lifestyle. Uh, but one of the things that has uh, not made much sense in residential treatment up to this point in time is the fact that there has been no treatment program that focused on the life skills necessary for the rural lifestyle. We've had clients out here, we've graduated six already. And uh, any follow up on that? We do aftercare with all of our clients. How do we go? And they're pretty good. There's been a few relapses and there have been some really positive people that haven't relapsed and are going out in the community and going to the camp, it's great. And they've been staying in tents because the cabins weren't done yet. And they're really, it's been pretty interesting listening to what they've had to say, what they've done when they've been out here. Uh, when you look at uh, uh, how much how much wood does it take to put up for the week or two days when the temperature is 40 below? Uh, what are the safety things you do to ensure that your your wood stove is safe in this environment? Because we re rely primarily on those things. The heating oil is as expensive here as any place else within the state. Uh, how do you keep your chainsaw in good operating condition? So in identifying our needs, it appears that the need is high throughout the state. Uh, so that's one of the challenges that says, well, we've got to figure out some way in our schedule then uh, that would allow uh, full usage of the facility and programs. Uh, so we are looking at year-round involvement in the camp. Um, in fact, uh, if you would, kind of on the design end, we've already spent some time out of camp in tents because our cabins are all not fully built yet when it was 20 below. Uh, so we know that we're able to meet the physical challenges of running a year-round camp. And the second thing that became readily apparent then, and we're uh, uh, working with a number of agencies to cause it to happen, is that uh, uh, the acceptance of what we're doing on the adult end uh, has some implications then for youth treatment facilities. Uh, so that's the other part that we're looking at and actively pursuing to have a similar type arrangement probably on the other side of the lake because you cannot mix youth and adults in terms of treatment. After three years operation, the goal of the Hudson Lake Treatment Center is to house 15 beds. There's a heartbeat, loud as thunder, revolution is in the air. Hi, 
Hey, this is Steve Haldane for Coca-Cola and Heartbeat Alaska, reminding you all to please wear your life preservers while boating. We were trying to quit smoking. He was trying to help us. There's been a lot of information given to everybody, and I ignored it. I didn't pay no attention to it. I figured it ain't gonna happen to me. So the next guy it's gonna happen to never happen to me. Well, I was wrong. You kids can be wrong too. I'll tell you, the smart ones can read the handwriting on the wall. And the handwriting on the wall says, stay away from cigarettes. I think I better quit. Hello, Jeannie Green. This is Pete Peter. I'm from Bean Kai, and we're having a lot of fun tonight. Okay. Recently, the sixth annual gathering was held in the Copper River Basin. Hosted by the Copper River Native Association, the gathering brought together members of the community as well as surrounding towns. The annual gathering, um, it was made official six years ago. Uh, since then, that we've tried to improve it each year. And the theme of the gathering is to, mo to promote sobriety and family in the community. Um, it's to show that people can get out and have fun without doing drugs and alcohol. Welcome Heartbeat Alaska. If you look over towards the left field, you'll see the cameraman. And that's the high ball. It looks like it's going to be a foul. Oh, good hit. Good hit. Good hit. He's making a way to second. On her way to third. She's going home. That's a home run. Home run for Samantha. The people of the Copper River Basin are unique. They were the last Indian tribe to be contacted by outsiders in Alaska. They all possess a strong spirit of community and hold tightly to their traditions and ways. Whether a member of a ball team or just watching, you can't mistake the home team. Get a hit, get a hit, get a hit. Come on, Bing. I think that we are now just coming into an age of the young people, that there are other cultures besides ours, you know, and, uh, and they relate to the fact that we are Native Americans, but that we're all a little different. You know, each culture uh, practices their own culture in a different way. Here again tonight um, are Miss National Congress of American Indians from the Yakima Nation in Washington State. And um, for those of you that weren't here last night, she did a really nice uh, performance, the Lord's Prayer in Sign Language. And tonight she's going to do a um, welcome dance, so I'll let her maybe talk a little bit about that before she does it. Okay, hi, my, my name's Emily. <laughs> um, my name's Emily, and the dance I'm going to do today usually has um, an elder drumming with it, and it has special music, but I chose a song that um, my nephews um, made, actually, and I'm going to do two songs with the same, or two dances with the same song. I'm going to do the welcome dance first, and it, it opened our social gatherings and kind of got it open, and it was usually done in the beginning. And the next one is the farewell dance, and the farewell dance uh, shows a girl, usually girls would line up, and um, they would show themselves dropping their tears because they were sad um, because the gathering was over, and they were sad because all their friends would go home and away, and the new people that they met would be, you know, going back to their own homes. And then they get happy again because they know that sometime, you know, in their lives they're going to meet again. And so you can kind of see the different changes. And um, it's just going to go one and then two right away. I'm not even going to stop the song. So um, those are the two songs that I'm going to do. And Jody's going to be my um, technical assistant now. <laughs>
the central Washington area. Those songs are uh, characteristic of our tribe. So if you ever make your way down there, you want to hear it, you know, just ask around and then remember that he first saw it from me. <laughs> and, uh, thank you again for everybody being so nice. And um, if you have any questions or comments, just feel free to ask. Thank you everyone for your help on that story. Thank you Ken Johns of the Copper River Native Association for making this program possible and everyone else that's involved. Now for one of our favorite segments on Heartbeat Alaska, music videos. for a day then have it taken away it's a price you have to pay it's like that like want to find your inner wealth navigate your life yourself set your course for mental health remember life is but a stage you've got the power to write each page of your script in all your glory navigate the course for your own life story She said, you know what, 
you have diabetes. I was very shocked. To reduce your risk of getting diabetes, watch your weight, exercise, and avoid sugar and fat. Eat the fruit, the grains, and the vegetables, and be active. It's hard, but if you want to live and be healthy, then you have to do it. Alaska Natives, making smart choices for a healthy future. Thank you once again, everyone, for joining me for Heartbeat Alaska Native News and Native Information. Heartbeat Alaska will soon be aired in Japan, Australia, and New Zealand. Isn't it wonderful how we could share our Native cultures with the rest of the world? God bless every single one of you. Thank you once again for watching. We'll see you again next week.